Hi guys, it's me, Chandler Klebs, and I'm about to go to work soon, so this video is going to be really short. But um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between reality versus fiction, and how a person might do things that they they would be opposed to. Um, that, that in real life, we're like for example, we might be opposed to killing. This is my personal example. We're opposed to killing, like I'm opposed to killing in real life. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I understand that when I, if I kill some human or some other animal or or, or whatever, um, that I'm ending a life. So I'm against killing in that sense. Um, but here's the interesting part. Now, does a pacifist, um, some someone like me who is, you know, against killing, against violence in general, um, would they still kill in video games? Now, here's the key interesting part about it is that, well, yeah, I play video games. I mean, I play Terraria and Minecraft, and it's pretty much forced on you if you, like, you can't play the game and get very far without killing something. You know, you'll have like zombies or creepers in Minecraft that are trying to kill you, and to survive, you have to kill them. So this raises an interesting question. Um, the, dif the difference between reality versus fiction. Like, see, I don't see anything wrong with killing in a video game. Um, similarly, um, fake killing, like in a movie where they have it look like they're killing someone, you know, they're not actually killing someone. Here's the deal, though. Um, I'll tell you one thing. Um, I do generally disapprove of, of violence, even in movies, because it looks so real. And, uh, and it, it bothers me. Like, The Hunger Games was unbearable. Um, you know, and of course, I watched Earthlings, which was actually way worse. You know, I don't like to see it. It makes, it makes me feel very uncomfortable to witness violence. I can only handle it in the sense of a cartoonish video game type of graphics where there's no blood, nothing really looks like it's dying. It's more, it's like Super Mario Bros. You know, you, you step on a Goomba and then they flatten and they just disappear. I mean, there's, I mean, but you understand that a Goomba or a, a or a Koopa in Mario or zombies in Minecraft or, or, or slimes in Terraria or whatever, you understand they were never a real living thing. They were a, they, a computer generated simulation. You understand they weren't conscious and they don't feel any pain. So you're not causing them pain and you're technically not killing anything because they're just mass produced. They're, they're infinite. The code is there, and the game will generate infinite numbers of them. So nothing's really um, gained or lost um, when you kill in a video game. Now, there is one thing I would like to mention. Like, okay, first of all, understand that, yes, there's a difference between killing in a video game, which I'm not against, and killing in real life, which I am against, you know. Uh, so there's a difference there. But, however, some people might try to argue that having violence in video games... Um, might lead to more violence um, in the real world. Like playing uh, violent video games like um, might cause people to kill people in real life. Now here's the interesting part about this. Um, if this was proven, if you could prove that playing violent video games actually made people um, more violent in real life, then you could justify banning video games uh, you could ban violence in video games, I suppose. Of course, you would also have to ban the Bible, the Koran, all movies that have ever been made involving violence. You could do that by that reasoning. And I'm not even disagreeing. I'd love to see those things banned, actually. At the same time, there's a little conflict because I also like freedom of speech. But I think there's a difference between freedom of speech and freedom to hurt and kill. There's a difference. It's one thing to, buy, to speak about something, um, and even hi historical books about, you know, well, it's a fact that these people killed these people in this war. You know, that's a fact. You're just saying the fact, but you're not condoning it. So that's the deal is that we can be honest and tell the truth about, um, about what killing has happened. But that doesn't, but the problem, my problem is that in some ways, the media with with video games and movies and of, and of course religion for sure 
it does promote violence and that's what I have a problem with is things that are demonstrated to promote violence so I think it's worth talking about like I honestly would like your opinions like do you think watching violence in movies or playing video games with violence leads people to become violent or are those people already violent and would they kill people without those things which is what I currently think because violence predates movies it predates video games it predates the printing press you know I mean so I think violence is not because of what happens in fiction but that there are real reasons in the real world why people are violent and that should be corrected if possible I don't I don't know if it will I don't expect to see it in my lifetime but that'd be nice but there's a difference between video game violence or movie violence and real violence do you agree or disagree you know that's just my thoughts for now that's all I have to say about that for now so leave your comments below bye